The Pennsylvania Game is made possible in part by... The Pennsylvania Public Television Network. Formerly a music teacher in Ohio, James Getty moved to Gettysburg with his family in 1977 and launched a new career. What does Getty do for a living? A, he markets the first line of Civil War trading cards. B, he conducts seances to spiritually reunite those who died in the Battle of Gettysburg with their living relatives. C, a disinherited member of the Getty oil family, he heads a national campaign against the use of fossil fuels. Or D, he portrays Abe Lincoln on stage and screen. The answer is D, an uncanny resemblance to Abraham Lincoln and an insatiable interest in getting to know America's most revered statesman launched James Getty into a whole new career. Regarded as the nation's most eminent portrayer of Abraham Lincoln, Getty studied Lincoln photographs and modern films, eventually mastering his mannerisms and oratorical style. In 1977, he moved his family to Gettysburg, where he opened at the Conflict Theater in Mr. Lincoln Returns to Gettysburg, a performance that traces Lincoln from childhood to the White House with special emphasis on Gettysburg. His one-man first-person portrayals of the 16th president are so convincing that Getty was selected for the voice of Lincoln in two A&E Lincoln biographies and played Mr. Lincoln in the Turner television film, The Ironclads. Eddie Cuthbert was born in Philadelphia in 1847. In 1865, he joined the Philadelphia Keystones, playing every position except pitcher. A true baseball pioneer, he is most noted for A, the first attempt at base stealing, B, being the first player to bunt a baseball, C, being one of the first players to appear on a bubblegum baseball card, or D, inventing many of the hand signals catchers use to this day. The answer is A. Eddie Cuthbert of the Philadelphia Keystones is credited with the first stolen base in a game against the Brooklyn Atlantics in 1865. Although newspaper accounts made note of the novelty, it's more likely that Cuthbert's was simply the first documented stolen base in baseball. Stolen bases held little value in the early days of baseball, but by the late 19th century, stolen bases were as popular as they are today. Johann Conrad Biesel, a German-American religious leader, founded the Seventh-day Baptists, a semi-monastic community at Ephrata in southeast Pennsylvania. There he and his followers lived a celibate life of strict self-discipline and religious devotion. Biesel banned meat, eggs, and dairy products from the community. He believed they, A, caused madness, B, harmed the singing voice, C, conveyed the animal spirit to humans, or D, aroused sexual desires. The answer is B, harm the singing voice. Biesel renounced material comforts and led a life of austere self-discipline, but music was important to the Seventh-day Baptists. Biesel was one of the earliest composers of American religious music. The effort of press, established by Cloister members in 1746, produced the first music printed in the American colonies. Popular publications included a collection of Biesel's many hymns, some written with up to seven harmonies. The religious members met every day to sing in church services, expertly blending their voices like a large orchestra. Biesel forbade meat, butter, and eggs because he believed they impaired the vocal quality of their singing voices. If you joined a mycological club in Pennsylvania, what would you most likely be doing? A, growing mushrooms, B, writing mysteries, C, sharing mystical experiences, or D, raising white mice. The answer is A, growing mushrooms. Mycology is a branch of botany that deals with fungi. Pennsylvania is a leading U.S. state in the production of milk and milk products, chickens, eggs, and apples, and is the nation's leading producer of mushrooms. The most important centers for the production of mushrooms are in the southeastern part of the state, Chester and Delaware counties. In fact, some of the nation's richest farmland is found in southeastern Pennsylvania, and much agricultural production is centered in Lancaster County. Thank you.
For 30 years, from 1936 to 1966, the Myers and Tritle department store was a familiar fixture in Mercersburg, Franklin County. Their annual spring party and anniversary sale attracted thousands of people and was the talk of the town. What was so unique about the store's annual promotion? A. They were the first store to offer S&H green stamps. B. They gave away live chickens by dropping them from a third floor window to the crowd below. C. They were the first to provide in-store visits with Santa Claus. Or D. They offered free palm reading sessions with every $5 sale. The answer is B. The highlight of Myers and Trital's spring party and anniversary sale was the ever-popular Fowl Party. Live chickens were dropped from the store's third floor window to the waiting crowd below. Several thousand people showed up for the spectacle and the chance to walk away with a free chicken. The promotion was a big hit and an annual event, except during World War II, until the unfortunate mishap. Two people scuffled over the same bird. That was not only the end of the chicken, but also the end of the annual fowl party. Conrad Gemmer bought an estate in Susquehanna County in 1963 to pursue his interest as a serious collector. Today, he is among only one or two people from every state who are interested in collecting antique what? A, apples, B, dentures, C, unicycles, or D, prostheses. The answer is A, apples. Conrad Gemmer grew up on a fruit farm in New Jersey and has always been interested in uncovering old and unusual varieties that were being lost as commercial apple growers limited themselves to the most profitable varieties. In 1963, Conrad Gemmer bought an estate in northeastern Pennsylvania that contained 12 trees from an original 1860s orchard. He spent the next 18 years moving his antique apple orchard from New Jersey to Pennsylvania by grafting. Because many of the varieties were grafted from cuttings, one tree may now produce a dozen different kinds of apples. Among his treasures is the oldest apple variety in the world today, the lady apple, which dates back thousands of years. Pliny the Elder, the Roman naturalist, described it in his writings in the first century AD. In all, Gemmer maintains 20 acres of orchards featuring more than 500 varieties, including the rediscovered American Golden, Pippin, and Early Strawberry. In 1975, the Williams Grove Old Timers was formed in Harrisburg. Little did its founders know that their shared interest would result in the creation of the first museum of its kind in the eastern United States. What kind of museum is it? A. A watch museum. B. A toy soldier museum. C. A motor racing museum. Or D. An egg cup museum. The answer is C. A motor racing museum. In 1975, a small group of racing enthusiasts gathered at Williams Grove Speedway near Harrisburg for a reunion. They all shared a common interest in the early days of American motor racing and wanted to preserve the history of that era. The Williams Grove Old Timers was established. The members built a public museum in York Springs, now known as the Eastern Museum of Motor Racing. It's the only museum of its kind in the Eastern United States and contains an impressive collection of restored vintage race cars and memorabilia related to American open wheel automobile racing history. A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-2111.